last time on Out Chasing Stars, we completed our final passage in the Maldives, going from Mamagili down to Gaan. As usual in this part of the world, the winds were incredibly light, so we kept ourselves busy by pulling out the sails whenever possible, attempting to do some fishing and dodging squalls. This passage also marked our third equator crossing and a return to the southern hemisphere. Once we arrived in Gaan, we immediately got to work so we could be ready to shove off once again. Today is refueling day. Not just us, but we've got two other boats here on the dock with us as well. Uh, I think we're getting about 600 liters. We're actually going to be filling up our flexible fuel bladder for the first time since our Pacific crossing. But uh, it's going to be some light winds. For Chagos is still pretty close to the equator, so I want to make sure we've got lots of fuel, a little bit for air conditioning, but uh, mostly to make sure we've got plenty if we have to motor between Chagos and Seychelles. Don't want to get stranded out there. Turns out I was right to be worried, but that's a story for a later date. With the refueling done, we were pretty much ready to go. So once we got a semi-decent weather window, off we went. It's moving day again. It is. We are cleared out and leaving the Maldives. We've been here for two months. Has it been that long? It's been that long. It's crazy. Well, we've been doing a lot of boat projects, a lot of catching up on videos and blogs and stuff. Yes. Not as much filming as perhaps we should have done, but yeah, I that's mean, okay. there's not a lot of differentiation between the Maldives islands. Lots so. of snorkeling, a lot of flat sand atolls, I guess. Yeah, but now we are on our way to Chagos, which is a really unique, unusual place, and we're excited to go. Our visit's not going to be as long as we hoped, but that's okay. And 300 miles, light winds. Try to sail as much as we can. Try to but, sail as much as we can. You know. Passage planning is key. Can I can I get our wind angles right on this one? Yes. We shall see. Alrighty. We chose to leave with lots of daylight, so we could navigate through one last reef. Outside, we found the conditions to be less than optimal. It has been a bit bumpy so far. Uh, we are smack dab in the doldrums, like we're one degree south of, uh, right now, and three knots true wind speed, squalls all the way around, seas are very choppy, very confused. It's, uh, it's, it's uncomfortable, and I think poor Amy actually has been the most seasick I've seen her in a while. So she's been napping most of the day. Um, at least the sun is going down now, so the temperature is dropping. My hope is that as we get further south, the wind is supposed to kind of shift around a little bit more on the beam, maybe, hopefully, uh, and we might be able to pull the sails out, sail a little bit. Uh, right now we're just motoring. Um, we do have a ton of diesel, so we're prepared, but it's definitely better if we could sail. We are definitely in the doldrums. Uh, last night it was kind of nice, the wind died down a little bit, the waves calmed down, so it was, it was an okay night. I think Amy felt better, which is good. Uh, today, today we're dodging squalls, and not my favorite part about being around the equator. Uh, the winds just shoot up like crazy. The squall that's coming at us is like five miles across, and it looks like it's bringing the rain. It's not only bringing the rain, it's bringing the wind, which is actually kind of nice because it is cooling things down a bit. Uh, not that you can tell because I'm still freaking sweating. Uh, but we've got the engines turned off and we're actually sailing. That's always nice. Ah, uh, 
the blissful sounds of silence. I do so love when it's just the wind whistling through and no engine noise. We were able to do that because the wind has picked up just a touch. We're now seeing about 10, 11 knots true. We're pointing pretty high, especially with this creature. I've got it about 55 degrees apparent, which is just about as high as that thing will go. But we're, we're sailing and that's what I'm gonna focus on. So I'm happy about that at the moment. The wind uh, weather forecast does look like the wind will be pointing a little bit more from the south, which is not great news for us because that means we'd have to point even higher. Um, but we're, we're trying to gain a little bit more easting as we can uh, in anticipation of that. So we'll see if we can kind of ride the wind shift um, or we have to swap back to the Genoa and just point, you know, as high as Starry Horizons can. We'll see how this goes. It's gonna be kind of an interesting tactical dilemma, shall we say, for the rest of this. last very long at all. Winds are dead. Sailed for about an hour. Uh, winds are dropping now down four, five knots. Ah, love the doldrums. Just, just love them. Got a nice little present to wrap up the day. A fishing boat. Way out here in the middle of nowhere. And who wants to guess where it's from? Let me give you five seconds. Think of a guess. Anyone with Sri Lanka, you're the winner! Can you believe it? We are a thousand miles away from Sri Lanka and there is a Sri Lankan fishing boat. Uh, I was really hoping we were done with all these Southeast Asia boats just kind of in the way all the time. Guess not quite yet. I will give credit to this fishing boat for having their AIS on so we could see him and avoid him. Once we were clear, we got a beautiful present to wrap up the day. Wow, the clouds are really cool. Yeah, how's that sunset looking? Very pretty. Oh, you're very dark. Oh, it is nice outside, isn't it? It feels really good. Oh, yeah, just uh, lightning out in front of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look so good. No. Well, We'll enjoy this sunset for the time being. The last night of a passage just always seems to be the most challenging for some reason. Uh, the wind did increase, which, which is nice. We were able to sail for a couple of hours, but it kept shifting much further south than it was uh, forecasted to do so. Uh, I had planned our route based on the forecast and would be doing great if the winds were coming from where they're forecasted. Unfortunately with them being further from the south and not a current against us, it's making us point pretty damn high, which Starry Horizons does not particularly excel at. Um, and we have a little bit of a challenging navigational situation because there's kind of two shoal areas coming up. Um, we're trying to thread through those and then we need to keep enough speed up so that we arrive into the atoll in, in Chagos in daylight with enough daylight to be able to see any bombies that are in the lagoon. So I can't just think, tack back and forth because we'll lose time and I'm not staying another night out here. Um, so I have to have the engine on to get us going, point high enough, even though there's wind. Very, very frustrating. Oh, and there's, there's quite a bit of squalls around, which is also messing with the wind. So again, last night, it's making us earn it. Almost forgot to mention, we've got a stowaway up there. It's pretty rough, so he must be super duper tired to be willing to hang out on a pretty precarious position. Last sunrise to see for this passage. Not the world's most beautiful one with all those clouds and squalls back there. Um, but the wind has shifted and picked up again a little bit. So, um, actually picked up a lot. So I put a couple reefs in the sails. It's dying down a little bit again. But at least it's shifted back in the direction where I can sail, so that's nice. 
Um, and yeah, let's go take a look and see what our little friend left us up here at the front. Oh yes, that's a lot of birch. We're always willing to help out the birds and give them a place to rest, but it sure would be nice if they left a thank you note behind instead. With the sun coming up, we got a great view of all the squalls that had been on our radar overnight. There's another pretty big squall headed right towards us. I think we are well and truly out of the doldrums now. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, those numbers right there, that's our, our wind speeds. That, that's, that's a lot of wind for uh, the doldrums, so pretty pretty sure we're well and truly out of it. Uh, parent on the left, true on the right. Uh, boat speed, speed over ground, and speed through the water. Still have quite a bit of current against us, but we are rocking and rolling now. I should also add that with the wind above 18 knots and forward of the beam, we have a reef in both of the sails. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have had to reef and unreef the main three times, I think, in the last hour and a half with squalls rolling by and dropping the wind and then bringing wind back and all that fun stuff. So it has been a very busy morning, but we're still sailing and I'll still take the work over motoring. That's for damn sure. I wake up from my nap and it's land ho, huh? Yeah. Time to move it on in. How's, how's the past looking? Like, what's our plan here? Uh, we've got coordinates from our friends on Soul Flight and we've got our satellite imagery up, so. Yeah. Hopefully Take it nice we'll and good. slow, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, there's birds around us. Hopefully they'll just guide us in. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Doubtful. The charts in Chagos aren't great, so we tried to give ourselves every advantage we could get. The satellite images are a huge help, but there's nothing that replaces the sun in the sky and eyes on the bow. While the birds may not have been excellent guides, there was another creature who showed up instead. We made it through the pass okay. Easy peasy, actually. Yeah, that was, was the shallowest it got. 18 feet. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. No. And we had a little escort, didn't we? We had some dolphins. Aww. I love Actually, it when dolphins help us come in. A good sized pot of dolphins. So, yeah. yeah. We didn't see them on the passage, but, you know, given we were a little concerned about our arrival here, I'll take their company then. Absolutely. And now, in to try to find an anchorage? Yep, in the anchorage, there are possibly four boats here already. Yeah, we're just gonna see where we can drop the hook. So we don't have it all abandoned to ourselves, unfortunately. No, not all to ourselves, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. Eh, we'll still enjoy it. Absolutely. It turns out there were more than four boats there already, but with our catamaran shallow draft, we found the perfect spot to anchor and explore this new tropical paradise. y'all thanks for watching our video on sailing to Chagos it was a nice short little one for you but we are very much looking forward to sharing our next episode which is exploring the islands of the Chagos archipelago with you we are currently in Antigua and we are cranking out videos you'll notice we're down to one a week so that's exciting and we hope you guys are staying safe and careful in this trying times all right thanks for watching bye